One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install the Google Nest Learning Thermostat 4th Generation, which was just launched in 2024, which we've got right here. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is turn off the power to our existing HVAC system. You're going to find that power switch typically right on the system or in the same room as the system. What I like to do is turn my AC or heat on and then go down and flip that switch so that I hear the unit actually click off. So go do that now. Now we need to remove our existing thermostat. Depending on what you've got, typically there's going to be a tab you might pop at the top or the bottom to get the cover plate off, and then you're just going to peel that off. So look around the outside of the thermostat. Sometimes there's a place you can put a screwdriver in the bottom, and then pop that off, and we've got access now to our wiring. Now before you do anything else here, I want you to stop and take a picture of your existing wiring so that you have it as a reference. So if you have any problems, you can go back and install your existing thermostat. Also, this will be helpful as a record for when you install your Nest Learning Thermostat for generation. So do that now. Now in this video, we're installing the Nest Thermostat on a very traditional setup with an air conditioner in a gas fired furnace. However, if you've got another type of system you're trying to install, look down in the description below. We'll include links to all those other types of systems that you can install with the Nest Learning Thermostat Generation 4. Now, let's go through each one of these wires. We've got our G wire, that is our fan wire. We've got our Y wire, that is our air conditioning wire. And we've got our RC and RH bridged, but one red wire there, and that is our power wire. And we've got our W1 wire, that is for our heating for our gas-fired furnace. So now we're going to remove all these wires and remove the existing backer plate for the thermostat. Now that we've got the wiring exposed, we're ready to install the Nest thermostat, which we've got right here. However, it comes in three pieces. You've got the backer plate right here, and then you have a wall plate as well. So you can use this wall plate to cover up the existing holes on your wall if you want to, and then you put this on. But if this plate will cover the holes, you can just install this. We're going to use the backer plate, so we're going to put that on first. And then we're going to mount our Nest thermostat backer plate right here, or the connection plate. And then we're just going to screw that in place, and it covers up all the holes that we've got on the wall. Now we've got this screwed in place. You want to use two screws. I'm only using one because I test out a lot of thermostats, and I don't need more holes in my wall. You can also make sure it's level with this little built-in level there, which is really important. Now we're going to connect our wires to the terminals on the plate so that we can install the Nest thermostat. In order to do that, we're going to refer back to that picture that we took and we're going to place them in the terminals that they were on on the existing thermostat. So I'll start with this first one, white, our W1. That's going to go in W1 right here. And I just press down and slide that in. Our next wire is going to be our RH wire. That is our power for our system. And if you've got uh, just one R wire, you can just put it in RH. Uh, the RC is for if you've got a dual power system. Now we've got our G wire. That is our fan wire. We're going to put it in the G terminal right here. So I just press down and slide that in. You may need to strip the... Uh, coating on the wire uh, a little bit more and you want to make sure when you push these in that you get them to a point where the uh, wires are locked in place here so that they don't slide out. Our last wire here is our Y wire and that's for air conditioning and we're just going to slide that in place. Sometimes it helps to have a pair of pliers in order to get these placed and sometimes you'll have to trim a little bit off potentially and or expose more depending on your situation. But uh, we're just going to slide that in place there. And a needle nose pliers would probably work a little bit better. But I've got all of these now locked in. And you can tell when they're locked in because the uh, actual tab on here 
will stay down once they're locked in. So we've got all of them locked in. We've got our Y1 air conditioning, G for fan, W1 for heat, and RH for our power. So now we're ready to take our Nest thermostat and we're going to place it on the wall. It just is going to click into this existing uh, plate and you'll hear it snap in place when you get it in the right spot. Okay, that is snapped in. We've got it in place and now we are ready to power up this system. Now that we're ready to power this up, we're going to go back down to our HVAC system and turn the power back on so our Nest thermostat will power up. So go do that now. Great, our Nest thermostat is powered up and now it's ready to get set up in the Google Home app. So if you don't have the Google Home app, go download that now so you can set up your Google Nest learning thermostat fourth generation we see that it's powered up and it's ready to be set up on the app. Here, we've got our Google Home app, so click on the icon to open that up, and then it takes us to our home, and it should automatically pop up if you've got your Bluetooth set up and enabled on your phone, and you've got your Google Home app set up. That should automatically pop up, so we're just going to click Set Up New Nest Learning Thermostat Fourth Generation. So we're going to click Set Up right here. It has us choose a location, and you can either set up a new home or use an existing location that you already have. So I'm gonna choose 1060 West Addison Street. I do not actually live there, but if you Google it, you'll find it's a very cool location, and maybe sometime you'll even get to visit there. We're going to click Next. Now it's looking for devices. Here it asks us what device we're setting up. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We are connecting a thermostat and it says, what are you setting up again? Nest thermostat, earlier Nest thermostat or a matter enabled device. You could click Nest thermostat or matter enabled device. It's going to ask you to scan a QR code regardless. So we're going to click on the Nest thermostat. It says scan the QR code, and the easiest way to do that is just remove the Nest thermostat, and then on the back of here, there's a QR code, so I'm going to do that now. We're going to take this off right here, and then we're just going to scan the QR code. Now I'm going to place the thermostat back on there so it's powered up. And this is a screen that pops up after I scan the QR code. It says, let's set up your Nest thermostat. Click next. We have to agree to the terms and conditions. And then it says setup takes about 30 minutes. Now here you could go through all of these in here it says setup usually takes about 30 minutes and here you could go through all these steps and click next or you can just click already installed because that's what we've already done. So we're going to click already installed. Connecting. Now it's going to ask you which language should your thermostat use. We're going to click English. Next. We're going to use Fahrenheit. Click next. Now it wants to review our detected wires. We've got Y1 cool, W1 heat, G is a fan, and RH is power. Click next. Testing your system's power. What is your heat fuel source? We're using natural gas. Click next. It is forced air. Click next. It says, how do you want your fan to be controlled by the furnace or by the thermostat? And most furnaces will automatically turn on the fans when the heating begins. So I'm just going to leave it at by furnace, but you could have it so it's controlled by the fan. We're going to click next. Which mode should your thermostat use today? We're going to put it in cooling mode and click next. This thermostat can now control heating and cooling. Click next. Here, you're going to choose a Wi-Fi network that you'd like your device to use. Enter your Wi-Fi network password and click connect. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Connected. Finishing up. This could take a while. Connected. Device is ready. Getting your device ready. This may take a minute. 
Here we need to choose where this is located. So I'm just going to say that this one is located in a bedroom and click next. Custom room name, we'll call it bed one and click next. Confirm your home address, we're going to click next. See how your Nest thermostat can help you save, click next. Energy savings are easy with Nest Renew. Less effort, more comfort. Stay comfortable while energy savings with small automated temperature adjustments. You can stop these at any time. Cheaper, cleaner energy. Automatically take advantage of cleaner or less expensive time of use rates. For now, we're going to reject these, but we can change these uh, in the future. So I'm just going to reject that because we just want to get this set up. Automate your home with home and away routines. Click next. Home and away routines can automatically turn on eco temps when you're away. We're going to click not now. And the reason is that we're going to go through all of these uh, different settings in another video. So check that out uh, in the description below. And then we'll show you how to use all of these. So we're going to click uh, continue right now. And we're just going to get it set up and show you the basics. And then we're going to have an entire other video that shows you all the features of this because there are a lot. It says smart schedule learns what you like throughout the day. We're going to click next. Leaf helps you know when you're helping the environment. Click next. System health monitor helps catch potential HVAC issues. Click next. And it says what do you want to set up next? We're just going to click not now. Stay in the know. We're just going to say no thanks for now. It says rotate the dial to change temperature. So you just rotate this outer bezel or dial and that allows you to change the temperature right there. I really do like the feel of that. That's really nice. And then you could also turn it down here and uh, you can see that little uh, snowflake means it's an air conditioning mode. And if you scroll up here, that means that it is not currently in air conditioning or it is not actively cool in the home because we've got it set to 76. But as soon as I turn it down, let's say to 70, that means that it's going to start air conditioning. And it says starts in two minutes and 15 seconds because I just rotated it twice and it doesn't want your AC compressor to click on and off a whole bunch. But uh, if you're just doing that the first time, it would automatically start there. So we'll rotate that up and click next. It says press display to see the menu. So in order to get more options, you just click on the display like so. It's got like a tactile feedback. Uh, you'll see that or feel it when you press on there. It says uh, Monday, the humidity is 51% and currently maintaining 76 degrees. And then you can rotate through here to uh, go to all your different settings. So we'll click next here. You're all set. We'll click done. We're gonna have another video that shows you how to set up the Nest temperature sensor as well. So check that out in the description below. Now, in terms of our menu here, let's show you some of the basics uh, in order to cool this or change it from heating to cool, you would just click there and then you can change heat, cool, or heat cool, or completely off. So if I wanted to go to heat, I just make that selection and then I can rotate it and then watch what happens when I go right here. It turns a orangish color in the center there. And uh, I will say the display on this is very beautiful in terms of uh, just the clarity on it compared to previous generations. This thing looks really cool in person. I don't know if you can capture that on video, but pretty neat. And then let's just click again. That's gonna give our menu settings. Let's turn it back to AC. Um, and then the heat cool mode, that allows you to have a temperature range. So heat would turn on at 68 and cooling would turn on at 75. Uh, but let's turn ours to just cooling. It's the simplest thing right now for summertime. And we'll put it in cool mode. That works. I'm gonna click again. And let's see what we've got here. You can have a temperature hold, so it'll hold a uh, temperature. Uh, you can set this, turn to set whatever you want, press to hold until a certain time, a certain temperature. So you could do six, nine, uh, one in the morning, whatever you want. But we are just going to go back to zero and go back here. Let's see if it'll let me do that. I'll let it hold it for 15 minutes just so it goes into that mode. 
And then you've got your eco mode. You can turn this on. That's going to help you save energy. You click in there. You've got all kinds of different menus. We're going to click stop hold. And then it would allow you to uh, start your eco mode and or go back. We're going to go back here. And then you've got your fan. You can turn your fan on here. So you could have your fan run independently just to circulate air. We'll turn that on for 15 minutes. And that'll just circulate air around your house. And then you've got your full set of settings here. You can lock it. You can look at your equipment. You can look at your device settings. You've got uh, Farsight, which is kind of like the motion detection in here that will detect where you're at in the house to better uh, manage your schedules. You've got Matter, which is a smart home communication protocol. Your network here, if you've got to adjust your Wi-Fi, tells us our version. It says our account is connected. We've got our technical info here. You can restart this, factory reset it, um, or have your Nest Pro information in there. So let's just go back to the main uh, setting here. Let's just rotate. Let's have it go to cooling there. So it'll cool down to 74. And then now let's take a look at the app and see some of the features. So this is the interface here. You can turn up or down by pressing these uh, buttons right here and uh, that will turn it to air conditioning mode or I could change the mode to heat uh, like we've got right here and I can turn that on to heating there and then it will heat. You can see it's uh, up there. Let's turn this just uh, completely off for now and you've got your fan it's going to run for another 14 minutes our indoor temperature is 75 degrees our humidity is 46 percent you could set schedules right down here so you can add an event there uh, you can also set a schedule for your fan you've got an energy dashboard uh, this isn't going to populate yet because i have just set this up but it'll show you your hourly usage and then you can use that information and or enable the settings so that you will save uh, energy while you're running this and then if you go in here, this is going to give your full suite of settings for the Nest thermostat right here. Uh, you can choose your device information, sharing, notification, link, uh, device features, energy dashboard, all kinds of stuff, or remove the device there. And then if we click up here on the top, you've got help or feedback. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Google Nest Learning Thermostat Gen 4, which we've got right here. We're going to have a whole bunch of videos on this. So check those out in the description below. Or most of all, please subscribe so you can get the most out of your Google Nest Learning Thermostat Gen 4. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.